Well, you really never know because when people bring in animals, uh, they tell the story that they tell. The person said when she dropped Boogie off was that she found him in the Walmart parking lot. But um, at the shelter, you do get a lot of dogs that come from breeders and uh, backyard breeders, and, and they, they're embarrassed to say that that's where they're from. He was so little and his head was so big and he was so wobbly. I mean, and, and working at the shelter, you see a lot of dogs come in with a lot of different medical conditions. So we knew it was neurological. The med team cleaned him up and put him on foster watch, which means until we find out what's going on, let's send him to a foster home just in case something goes wrong. And so I took him home to foster him. A couple of days later, we went to the neurologist and they diagnosed him with cerebellar hypoplasia. Um, he's very unsteady, so he can't climb up things. He can't jump up on the bed and he can't play fetch. If there's anything raised, the stuff in the yard that's poking up, like he's gonna roll over. That's just what his body does. When we brought him home, he was just like a little peanut. The whole world revolves around him. He's the boss of our house, the literal boss of our house. But it didn't take long for us to realize we were gonna keep him. I, I fell in love with him right away though. So fostering is easy, and, and you're not supposed to keep your fosters either, but he won my husband over, so. But he is a special dog and he does take a little bit of special care, but it's totally worth it.